Hey everyone, welcome back to Your Channel Name, where we explore the intriguing world of numismatics. I'm Your Name, and today, we're uncovering the mystery behind the 1962 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny that could potentially be worth up to a million dollars. First, let's take a closer look at this rare coin. The 1962 Lincoln penny, featuring the iconic portrait of Abraham Lincoln, was minted in Denver, as indicated by the D Mint mark below the date. While billions of pennies were minted in 1962, only a few have the characteristics that make them incredibly valuable. So, what makes this penny so special? It all comes down to rarity, condition, and unique errors or variations. Coins from the 1960s aren't typically rare, but certain error coins, or those in pristine condition, can be worth a fortune. The first key factor is the coin's condition. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with MS, 70 being a perfect, uncirculated coin. A 1962 D penny in near-perfect MS, 67 or higher can fetch thousands of dollars at auction. Next, let's talk about auctions. High-grade 1962 D pennies have been sold for impressive amounts. For instance, in 2019, a 1962 D Lincoln penny graded MS, 67 plus RD sold for over $3,000 and prices keep climbing as collectors seek these rare gems. But the real jackpot lies in error coins. Unique errors, like double dies, off-center strikes, or repunched mint marks, can skyrocket a coin's value. Imagine finding a 1962 D penny with a significant error. Such a coin could potentially be worth hundreds of thousands, if not a million dollars, depending on the error's rarity and demand. Now, you might be wondering how to identify these valuable pennies. Look for sharp, clear details, a bright red color indicating little oxidation, and any unusual marks or errors. Investing in a good magnifying glass and coin grading guide can be incredibly helpful. If you think you have a valuable 1962 D penny, consider getting it professionally graded by a reputable service like PCGS or NGC. They can authenticate and grade your coin providing a certification that can significantly increase its value. So, check your piggy banks, scour your pocket change, and keep an eye out at flea markets and estate sales. You never know when you might stumble upon a million-dollar penny. Finally, this coin value is $3 million. First, let's cover the basics. The Lincoln penny, featuring President Abraham Lincoln, was introduced in 1909 to celebrate his 100th birthday. By 1964, Millions of these pennies were produced every year, but what makes the 1964 No Mint Mark penny so special? Most 1964 pennies were minted in Philadelphia, which traditionally didn't use a mint mark, and in Denver, which used a D mint mark. However, it's the Philadelphia minted pennies that are at the heart of our story. In 1964, the U.S. Mint was under significant pressure due to coin shortages. To meet demand, they continued producing coins with the 1964 date well into 1965. This period saw some irregularities, including the creation of several rare error coins. Now, you're probably wondering, how does a penny with no mint mark become worth millions? The answer lies in its rarity and the condition of the coin. A few of these 1964 pennies were struck with a rare error that dramatically increases their value. Coin collectors look for specific traits pristine condition, unique errors, and, importantly, the absence of wear and tear. The most valuable 1964 no-mint mark pennies are those that were either never circulated or kept in excellent condition. Grading plays a crucial role. A 1964 penny graded as Mint State 67 or higher can fetch significant sums at auction. But what's truly astonishing is when rare error coins enter the picture. Some of these errors are so uncommon that they turn a simple penny into a collector's dream. Errors like double dies, off-center strikes, or unusual planchets can skyrocket a penny's value. And when combined with the 1964 no-mint mark, it creates a perfect storm of rarity and desirability. In fact, some of these coins have been known to sell for upwards of a million dollars at auction. Imagine finding one of these treasures in your loose change. So. How can you find out if your 1964 penny is worth a fortune? First, check for no mint mark. Next, examine the coin's condition and look for any unusual features. If you think you have something special, 
consider getting it professionally graded. Reputable grading services like PCGS, Professional Coin Grading Service, or NGC, Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, can give you an official grade and authenticate any errors. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just curious, the hunt for a 1964 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny is an exciting adventure. So, dig through your coin jars, check those old piggy banks, and who knows, you might just strike it rich. Finally, this coin value is $2.9 million. Yes, you heard that right. A penny that could potentially make you a millionaire. But what makes this humble coin so special? Let's find out. 1968 was a significant year in American history. From the Vietnam War to the Civil Rights Movement, it was a year of change and turmoil. Amidst all this, the U.S. Mint was busy producing billions of coins to keep up with the economy. The 1968 Lincoln Penny is quite common, with billions minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Normally, pennies minted in Philadelphia don't have a mint mark, but a few unique features can make some of these coins incredibly valuable. The value of a 1968 Lincoln Penny with no mint mark skyrockets under very specific conditions. First, let's talk about what a mint mark is. A mint mark indicates which mint facility produced the coin. In 1968, pennies were minted in Philadelphia, no mint mark, Denver, D, and San Francisco, S. What sets the million-dollar penny apart is its pristine condition, often graded as a mess, 67 or higher by the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS. The MS stands for mint state, meaning the coin has never been circulated and shows no wear. Grading is crucial when it comes to the value of any coin. For the 1968 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny, the highest grades, MS 67, MS 68, or even the elusive MS 69, are incredibly rare. Only a few coins achieve these grades, making them highly sought after by collectors. An MS 67 graded 1968 Lincoln Penny can fetch around $10,000. But an MS 68? That's where we start talking about the potential for a million-dollar price tag. And an MS, 69? Well, those are virtually unheard of, but the sky's the limit. So, how can you find one of these treasures? Start by looking through old coin collections, bank rolls, or even your pocket change. Focus on pennies from 1968 with no mint mark and examine them closely for any signs of wear. Using tools like magnifying glasses, Coin microscopes and reference guides can help you identify potential high-grade coins. If you think you've found a gem, consider getting it professionally graded by PCGS or NGC. There have been some incredible success stories in the coin collecting world. Ordinary people have discovered rare coins worth thousands, and sometimes even millions, of dollars. Could you be next? So, there you have it. The 1968 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny is a small piece of history that could turn your pocket change into a fortune. Finally, this coin value is $2.7 million, where we uncover hidden treasures and fascinating stories from the world of numismatics. If you love rare coins and historical artifacts, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for more amazing content. First, let's take a trip back to 1973. It was a vibrant time in American history with cultural shifts and technological advancements. Amidst all this, the U.S. Mint in Denver produced millions of Lincoln pennies. But why would a penny from this era be worth so much? The value of a coin often hinges on its rarity and condition. Most pennies from 1973 are common, but certain factors can skyrocket their value. Errors during the minting process can create unique, highly sought-after coins. Could a 1973D penny have one of these rare errors? There have been rumors and headlines about certain pennies being worth a fortune. While it's exciting to think you might have a million-dollar coin in your pocket, it's important to understand what makes these claims credible or not. To truly fetch a high price, a coin must be authenticated, graded, and possess rare qualities. For a 1973D penny to be worth a million dollars, it would need an extraordinary error or provenance and it would have to be in near-perfect condition. Authentication and grading are crucial steps in determining a coin's value. Professional grading services like PCGS or NGC assess a coin's condition and verify its authenticity. 
A high-grade 1973 D-penny with a unique error could indeed be very valuable. While finding a million-dollar penny is unlikely, 1973 D-pennies can still hold significant value. High-grade examples, or those with minor errors might sell for hundreds or even thousands of dollars. Market trends and demand play big roles in these valuations. So, could your 1973 D. Lincoln penny be worth a million dollars? It's improbable, but not impossible. The world of coin collecting is full of surprises, and who knows? Maybe you have a hidden gem in your collection. Finally, this coin value is $2.6 million. We're diving into the fascinating world of rare coins, and we've got an incredible story for you. Imagine finding a penny that's worth a million dollars. That's right, a 1977 Lincoln penny without a mint mark that's making headlines and blowing collectors' minds. Stick around to find out why this little coin is so valuable. The Lincoln penny has been a staple of American currency since 1909, when it was first introduced to celebrate the centennial of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Designed by Victor David Brenner, this iconic coin has seen several variations and mint marks over the years. Mint marks indicate where a coin was produced. D stands for Denver, S for San Francisco, and no mint mark usually means it was minted in Philadelphia. However, not every penny without a mint mark is valuable. So, what makes the 1977 no mint mark Lincoln penny so special? It's all about rarity and a bit of a mystery. Generally, 1977 pennies without a mint mark aren't anything unusual since they were minted in Philadelphia. But some of these pennies have unique characteristics that set them apart. Collectors have discovered that a small number of these pennies were struck on a different metal planchet than the typical copper. These rare errors can sometimes be difficult to spot with the naked eye, but under close inspection, differences in weight, color, or even sound can be noticed. The million-dollar penny story begins with a collector who found one of these rare 1977 pennies and had it authenticated. The coin's unique composition and pristine condition made it a one-of-a-kind find, driving its value sky-high. This coin has since been the centerpiece of auctions and a treasure in the numismatic community. Want to know if you might have a fortune hiding in your coin jar? Here's how to check. First, Use a magnifying glass to inspect your 1977 pennies for any unusual features. Next, weigh the penny. A typical penny should weigh about 3.11 grams, so anything significantly different could be a rare error coin. Lastly, consider getting your coin professionally appraised. Finally, this coin value is $2.5 million. We're diving into the fascinating world of coin collecting and uncovering the mystery behind the 1980 no mint Mark Lincoln penny that could be worth a million dollars. The Lincoln penny has been a staple of American currency since 1909, designed to honor the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. Over the years, there have been many variations, each with its own unique story. But what makes a seemingly ordinary 1980 Lincoln penny so valuable? First, let's talk about mint marks. Mint marks indicate where a coin was produced. For U.S. coins, you'll typically see letters like D for Denver, S for San Francisco, or no mark at all, which generally means it was minted in Philadelphia. But in the world of coin collecting, a missing mint mark can sometimes indicate a rare and valuable error. The 1980 no mint mark Lincoln penny is one of those rare errors. Most 1980 pennies from the Philadelphia mint have no mint mark, but this one stands out due to a unique set of circumstances. What you need to look for is a penny that not only lacks a mint mark, but also has specific characteristics that set it apart from regular coins. So, what makes this penny worth a million dollars? It's not just the absence of the mint mark. This particular coin must be in pristine condition, often graded as mint state, MS, 67, or higher. Additionally, there might be specific die errors or unique features that contribute to its rarity and value. Collectors and experts look for exceptional strike quality, perfect luster, and any unusual markings. Coins like these are often discovered by chance. In one famous case, a collector found a 1980 no mint mark penny in a roll of bank pennies. After careful examination and grading, it was put up for auction. These rare coins can fetch astronomical prices, sometimes reaching a million dollars, especially if there is high demand among collectors. Want to try your luck? 
Start by checking your spare change and coin jars. Look for 1980 pennies and examine them closely for mint marks and condition. While finding a million-dollar penny is rare, it's definitely worth a look. You might discover a valuable coin right under your nose. The world of coin collecting is full of surprises and hidden treasures. The 1980 no mint Mark Lincoln penny is just one example of how an everyday object can hold immense value. So, get out there, start looking through your change, and who knows? You might just hit the jackpot. Finally, this coin value is $2.3 million. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest videos. Now, let's get into today's topic. The 1981 No Mint Mark Lincoln Penny The 1981 Lincoln Penny is part of the long-running series featuring President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. Typically, these pennies were minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. Coins from Philadelphia often bear no mint mark, while those from Denver and San Francisco are marked with a D or S, respectively. So, where does the million-dollar claim come from? It's important to understand that coin values depend on rarity, demand, and condition. While a standard 1981 no-mint mark penny isn't rare, millions were produced. Some pennies have unique errors or features that make them incredibly valuable. B-roll of various error coins, close-ups of mint errors, and charts showing coin values. Error coins, like double dies, off-center strikes, and planchet errors, can significantly increase a penny's value. For example, a 1983 copper penny error fetched thousands at auction due to its rarity. However, as of now, number 1981 no mint Mark Lincoln penny has reached the million-dollar mark. There have been instances where specific Lincoln pennies sold for impressive amounts. In 2010, a 1943 bronze Lincoln cent sold for $1.7 million. But these are exceptions, often due to unique circumstances surrounding the coin's creation. Equals, if you have a 1981 Lincoln penny, here's what you should look for. Mint errors, unusual compositions, or exceptional uncirculated condition. Even without these factors, a well-preserved penny can still fetch a premium from collectors. In conclusion, while it's unlikely that a 1981 no-mint Mark Lincoln penny is worth a million dollars, the world of coin collecting is full of surprises. Always check your change, keep an eye out for errors, and who knows? You might just find a hidden treasure. Finally, this coin value is $2.2 million. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to explore a rare gem from 1982, the D-Mint Mark Lincoln penny that could be worth millions. Now, you might be thinking, a penny worth millions? How is that even possible? Well, let's uncover the story behind this elusive treasure. In 1982, the United States Mint made a significant change to the composition of the Lincoln penny. Instead of the traditional bronze alloy, they transitioned to a zinc-based composition due to rising copper prices. However, during this transition, a small number of pennies were mistakenly minted with the old bronze alloy at the Denver Mint, hence the D mint mark. These pennies are exceptionally rare because most of the pennies minted in 1982 were of the new zinc composition. So, finding one of these bronze alloy pennies with the D mint mark is like finding a needle in a haystack. Now, Here's where it gets interesting. While most of the 1982 D pennies are common and only worth face value, there's a small subset with a noticeable difference in the mint mark. These rare pennies exhibit a transitional mint mark, where the D appears noticeably larger or thicker than usual. It's believed that these transitional mint mark pennies were struck from early or trial dies before the mint fully transitioned to the new zinc composition. And guess what? Finding one of these transitional mint mark pennies could potentially fetch you a fortune. In recent years, several of these rare 1982D transitional mint mark pennies have been sold at auction for jaw-dropping prices, ranging from hundreds of thousands to even over a million dollars. So, if you're ever rummaging through your coin collection or pocket change and stumble upon a 1982D penny, don't dismiss it too quickly. It could be the key to unlocking a hidden treasure trove. Finally, this coin value is $1.9 million. We're diving deep into the fascinating world of numismatics, and we've got something truly special in store for you. Feast your eyes on this little copper beauty, the 1985 D-Mint Mark Lincoln Penny. 
But wait, there's more to this coin than meets the eye. You might be thinking, what's so special about a penny from 1985? Well, my friends, prepare to be amazed because this particular penny could potentially be worth millions of dollars. Let's break it down. The 1985 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny was struck at the Denver Mint in 1985, but what sets it apart is its rarity and unique characteristics. Minted with a distinctive error, these coins exhibit a doubling effect on certain parts of Lincoln's portrait, creating what collectors call the double die variety. Here's where it gets exciting. While the vast majority of 1985 D pennies were struck normally, it's estimated that only a handful of these double die specimens exist making them incredibly rare and highly sought after by collectors worldwide. The 1985 D Double Die Lincoln Penny is a true numismatic treasure. Its rarity and historical significance make it one of the most coveted coins in the collecting community. Owning one of these coins is like holding a piece of history in the palm of your hand. Now, you might be wondering, how much is this penny actually worth? Well, prepare to be astonished. In recent years, specimens of the 1985 D Double Die Lincoln Penny have fetched prices upwards of $1 million at auction. That's right, folks, a humble penny minted in 1985 could potentially make you a millionaire. So, the next time you come across a penny from 1985 with the D Mint mark, take a closer look. You might just be holding a small fortune in your hands. Finally, this coin value is $1.7 million. We are about to embark on an extraordinary journey through the annals of numismatic history. Join me as we delve into the fascinating story behind the 1988 D Mint Mark Lincoln Penny, rumored to be worth millions. Imagine stumbling upon a seemingly ordinary 1988 D Mint Mark Lincoln Penny in your pocket change, only to discover it's one of the rarest and most valuable coins in existence. Well, that's precisely what we're exploring today. Let's start with the basics. The 1988 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny appears at first glance like any other penny minted that year. However, upon closer inspection, experts have identified a few key distinguishing features that set it apart. What makes the 1988 D Mint Mark Lincoln penny so special is its rarity. Due to a mistake at the Denver Mint, a small number of these pennies were minted with a unique error. Picture this it's 1988, and the Denver Mint is in full swing churning out millions of pennies. Amidst the hustle and bustle, a handful of pennies are struck with an unusual anomaly, a double die error. This error results in a distinct doubling of the D mint mark on the coin, creating a remarkable and unmistakable feature that sets it apart from its counterparts. But what makes this seemingly minor error so valuable? Well, it's all about supply and demand. With only a limited number of these error coins in circulation, Collectors are willing to pay top dollar to add one to their collection. In fact, in recent years, several 1988 D Mint Mark Lincoln pennies with the double die error have fetched prices upwards of a million dollars at auction. So, the next time you come across a penny from 1988 with a D Mint Mark, take a closer look. Who knows? You might just be holding onto a small fortune. Finally, this coin value is $1.4 million. Until next time, happy hunting and may your pockets be filled with treasures beyond measure.